movieweb.com. Okay, well, I want to know, what was the process for you of taking the book by Francois and totally breaking it down and building a narrative out of that structure? Oh, in fact, I wrote the first, uh, f first version of the script before reading the book oh, of really? Francois, which was, in fact, the story of Suleiman. And then I discovered the book when it was released and thought it would bring me uh, a point of view from, the, from inside, because Francois, the writer of the book, Francois Begodeau, uh, had been a te teacher for, for 10 years in this kind of school. So uh, he could give me a, an image of that word that I wouldn't ever get by myself. Uh, so we, we decided not to make an adaptation of the, of the book, but to use the book as a material, a documentary material, if you want, for, for the, to, to give the flesh of the film. And also, we, we, I based a lot of things on the personality of, uh, of the teacher. And this teacher, of course, is Francois, so that's why I asked him to, to act himself. Well, as he's acting himself, I guess, from what I understand, there's also character in his performance where he's not completely playing himself. Is that correct? Or is he playing himself the entire time? Is he playing himself or is there something else than himself in his personage? No, of, of course. He's just like all the, 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 the actors. He built a character based on some part of his personality. But uh, I think he doesn't recognize himself in the old character. I think Francois is someone who wouldn't... Uh, uh, Qui uh, Qui ne, comme, comme, comme ça. C'est un personnage plus, plus revendicatif, peut-être, que, 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 que le personnage lui-même. He, he's, um, he's actually more... Um Combatif, peut-être. Uh, he's more feisty than the, the character. Feisty. Yeah. So he, he doesn't recognize himself in all the character. I think he's more feisty than, than, than in that the character. He wouldn't stop the, 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 the fight as, easy some, as easily sometimes. And the kids sort of worked in the same way, right? They were real kids, but you sort of guided them as far as what you wanted them to do and say. Yes, we, we made, in fact, a very long preparation to the film. We, we had a workshop, an improvis improvisation workshop, uh, during the whole school year before the shooting. And we first tried to know each other, to trust each other. And uh, I could, you know, by learning to, to know them, I could give them some, uh, some characters to, to, to play and they get used to improvise, they get used to be directed in the improvisation, and right, that's the way we, we worked long before. I think that's the, the, the secret, secret of, uh, of the method, maybe. Okay, well, coming to the actual shooting days, how did you take all of that, that you, all of that studying with the kids into making the actual film, and then how did it evolve from there through the process of actually shooting it on camera? So we, during the old year, we, we practiced on in some scenes and some, and just trying to to push each children in, uh, as far as they could go in the, in the acting process, and then during the summer early days, we had seven weeks of shooting. Uh, with all the children, with the teachers. Teachers are the real teachers of that school, too. Mm -hmm. And uh, I left quite a lot of space to improvisation, even during the shooting. As, even if I gave them very precise uh, indication on what, that, what I was expecting. And then we were shooting and shooting and shooting many takes of the same scene until we arrived to a scene that is based on improvisation, but it's the, which is very precisely what I was expecting. Now, was there any scene that really shocked or surprised you the way it evolved in the final outcome of the film that you kind of weren't No, I was, I, I was very, often very, very 
fascinated by what was happening in the, in the, in the class. You know, I was watching my three monitors because we filmed with three cameras and I was watching the class and even couldn't stop the, the, the scene because I was so interested by what was happening in front of me that, right, they, they could, you know, give so much intensity, so much energy to, to, the, to each dialogue that I was really the first uh, spectator of the film. And I was really astonished by, by this capacity they have to, to make it alive, you know.